I downloaded every single insane snake centipede creature and I saved the best for last. Today I'm going to be showing you this amazing creation. Oh, and this one too. Oh, and wait until you see this thing. Oh, yeah, and this amazing thing. And at the end, you see this new and improved creation. It's a bunch of dudes swimming in the ocean. Huh? And they keep beating up this piranha. Anyway, the piranha's called in reinforcements. This is the mega piranha. Oh my gosh. Look at that mouth. And now seeing that, I think I might have <laughs> no, overdone no, no, this. No. These, I think one piranha itself could probably do something, but a couple mega piranha, not a good idea. Ah! That guy's getting eaten. Piranha are one of those things growing up that I thought were going to be everywhere, just like quicksand. <laughs> that me. guy's getting eaten right now. I don't think a single one of those things died. Even the real piranha is still uh, alive. What the heck? There's a whole bunch of Spinosaurus and also this gigantic one, but it doesn't even compare in size to an actual giant mutant Spinosaurus. This thing right here. Something tells me these guys are not going to survive. Oh, and he's got a laser. Just what the Spinosaurus need. Look at the spikes on the side of its body. We need a bigger army. We got Spinos. We got Wyvern. We've got a whole bunch bunch of dragons and even some t-rex this might change things let's watch and something tells me it's still not gonna work too well but you never know maybe we'll have a different uh outcome is it gonna get spiked those spike things never work at that time it did he's dead and all the dragons are dead oh and the giant spine is up in here too he's trying his best i don't think it took any damage let's see nobody sure is cool looking we gotta take this really <laughs> deformed ugly man get him all the way down to here but he has to make it past these things. These are called Phantom Rexes. It's a whole different thing I've never seen before. Here he goes, making his way through. But look, the Phantom Rexes are literally flying around the <laughs> level. Keep going, dude. You can make it. And if he can't make it, I know someone who will or something that will. Oh, he almost got eaten. Look out, man. Oh, no. Here it comes. He just got eaten by two of them. Anytime you have a running challenge where something needs to get to a finish line, there's a only one thing to call Sir Baconstein. And <laughs> the pig is the most amazing creation that man has ever witnessed. Not a dinosaur, but the pig. And think about it for a second. The pig provides us with some of the most amazing meats that you'll ever know. Pepperoni, keep going. Uh, sausage, bacon, ham. He's done it. <laughs> Once again, the pig is successful. We have come to the lava land, and this is Primal Grudon, and he is facing off against the Red Death. Oh, he's fighting back. I didn't know he had a laser. This thing has got the most amazing effect I've ever seen in this game. It's got flames that go around and a flamethrower that comes up from below. Oh, he's too fat, though. He's falling off the edge, and he's he's too big to fly. Is it okay? I know I'm not C-Top, and I know I'm not Simply Chris, but I do have to show you this saw this King Ghidorah thing and I thought I have to show you because it's amazing look at this sea top Ghidorah Zilla thing it's so good these heads are amazing let's watch what happens as it fights against all these people oh it's got lots of lasers and it can't really fly it's too fat to get off the ground I guess it does have multiple tails and it's absolutely obliterating everything it fell over though it's got problems look at those tails that's brutal look out for the tails man that's the worst part of it forget the lasers that's the easy way to die you don't want to get smacked by club tails like that it's time for an upgrade because this thing right here is too basic now even though it's amazing it's a wimpy boy more spikes bigger chainsaws double bladed chainsaws i know who's gonna win and it might not have the same effect although it is missing one of its best attributes the tongue you had to come to the arena because that map is not big enough they need to make all the field maps and make them bigger got a problem this chainsaw rex has got his chainsaw wedged up underneath there while this one can't quite get his face around to do something i'm thinking that the old version might win although i think <gasps> Guys, I'm appalled by this result. How can you have upgrade? He didn't even get touched. 
How can you have an upgraded one that loses? It makes no sense. Forget everything I said. Look at this. Let's look at the stats. Okay, 300,000, 130, 130, 300,000. You're a wimpy dude. You just got more stuff and you lost it all. Whoa. This cave. Look at this beast. This is one of the coolest creatures I've seen. It's like that blue dragon. Right? Look at this tail and spice and stuff. And but he's got a big body, but he's got the same neck. Look at that thing. This is like a dragon. This is like an OP version of that blue dragon, the Chinese dragon. And he's got a laser. Oh, that neck! He's biting things. <laughs> I didn't expect it to work like that. And he's got his floppy arms. It's like that Shin Dragon from Dragon Ball Z. Let's see it in action again because I was too distracted. He bites things with that head. Then he lays. What's worse? Just getting lasered or getting bitten and then lasered? He just picked that thing up like it was nothing and then lasered it off of his neck. He's like, get that crap off me. Oh, Mr. Elder Centipede, you are a thing of the past. Might have a cool looking body, but it's nothing quite compared to this thing. This is like the blue dragon. But amplified, fatter, thicker, huger, he's eating a whole bunch, and he's got this crazy awesome body. Both centipedes, both ready to battle. Who will be victorious? Let's find out! Okay, here we go. This is lighting is way better. What's going on? It's back it's on the backdrop of this sky over here. Okay, they're both biting each other's faces. Although this thing's got more teeth, the blue guy, and he's sinking them in more. They all have, they have both have little spiky claw things on their hands. They both have the crazy tail. I have no idea. He's got more spikes now. No, 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 no. Centipede's got more spikes. He's wrapped around him. This is the death girl. It's just like the crocodile thing. But even worse because there's spikes involved. This battle has been raging for a while and things are getting nuts. There's body parts whipping all over. Spikes sinking into each other. I have no idea who's going to win or who's winning right now. But their bodies are flying off the edge. Oh! Set the beats doing some kind of crazy dance thing. So is that one now? I don't know what to call this blue guy. Do we call him the blue dragon centipede? The blue dragon centipede! Yes, that's an amazing name and I like it a lot. And we are witnessing history. Here's a challenge. If you want to make something for me, I challenge you to make new amazing insane centipedes. And you know right, if you're watching, you gotta make one, man, okay? And Magna, I don't know if you watch, but I, um, well, we need more centipedes. Off the edge, who's gonna win? Who's victor? Oh, the blue guy, he died. Oh, they both died. Oh, I won. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The blue guy did most damage anyway, and he flung him off and somehow won the battle. This might just be the most unique creature we've ever seen. Ah, here we are once again, another bright morning in this game. Which I realize this isn't so much a game as it is a pain simulator. Today I have an exceedingly awesome creature for you guys. One that might be the most unique creature that we've ever seen. But before we do that, we have to cause these guys lots of problems. We'll start it off with this thing right here. It's a nice little centipede that is like a mini version of some of the things that we've seen before but I'm sure it's probably just as destructive as those. Look at it flying. There it goes. Oh, and then it just lands on them and just starts spiking them up. Oh no. At some point you have to ask yourself why do they keep running towards these creatures that clearly can decimate them? <laughs> oh no. They just Look at this one's different. This one actually like goes on top of them and then spikes them just decides to crush first and then actually poke oh look at it twisting up now before we get any further into today's video these little t-rexes here that are babies that little baby t-rexes so you subscribe to the channel because only like 12 percent of you guys who are watching are subscribed also if you enjoyed the video hit that like button
And then also comment below and tell me what your favorite dinosaur is. My favorite dinosaur is a dinosaur that isn't really like a dinosaur at all, but rather a mechanized version like this guy right here. What is this? I don't know what this gigantic thing is. Is it like uh, some kind of contraption that would like fling flaming discs of doom at them? I have no idea, but clearly it's got lasers. Let's see if all of these dinosaurs can do anything. Oh, that's what it is. Is just you know flamethrowers from the heavens raining down upon the dinosaurs heads that's one way to get rid of a whole army of dinosaur just flamethrower cook them up on a barbecue I wonder what cooked t-rex tasted like you know it's always great is when you play with the creation and it's not at all what you expect it to be. We're in the Battle Bot Arena with a bunch of ancient units here to fight off against something since we saw that last thing. Something new and we'll see what it does. Look at him. He's a little mechanized crocodile and he looks so awesome. He's got little spiky spikes on his claws and on his tail. But then he also has this thing which I have no- Oh, I see what it is. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're all about to die. He's got- What? Did it just shoot a, bun a bunch of lasers? Oh yeah, look look at all the little lasers. Lasers, rockets, missiles, MGs. It's a little bit more than what I thought it was gonna be. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, they didn't last all but two seconds. Here we go. They called forth their best warriors. It's a whole bunch of Achilles twins. I <laughs> got 31 of them. That would be a nightmare to have that many little babies. Uh, here we go. We're about to see if they can destroy I don't, It's not even physically possible. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's watch. Whoa, whoa. Let's see if they can actually defeat this thing before it defeats them. You got MGs going off. Missiles going off. Lasers, lasers, oh no, what, seriously? They couldn't even defeat it? Are you kidding me? What? I thought for sure they were about to win that battle. Avast ye mateys, there's a new beast on the island. Here lies all of Blackbeard's treasure and gold. As you can see, many explorers have failed in their quest to grab the gold. For you see, this gold is guarded by an ancient, terrifying beast. It's a mechanized elephant. <laughs> what? I'm not too sure why there's a mechanized elephant here guarding all this pirate treasure, but it's here and it's deadly. And I have no idea what it does or if it moves or anything, but these guys are going to try their best to <laughs> grab that treasure. And for whatever reason, they also have attack polar bears. Since like many other things in this game don't seem to make sense, we'll just put some polar bears in. Oh no, there's zaps zapping on the fingers. Oh, that's why uh, everything things died the polar bears got there get it man <laughs> guy that guy lunged for the gold he said i shall get it and then he died whoa that guy jumped in the air and then got zapped into oblivion uh this is why all these other corpses are here nothing can quite get close to it it is shooting lasers there's missiles too missiles coming out of his butt here is an Indoraptor, and there's actually quite a few of them, but there's two main ones that seem to be the most aggressive of them all. Here is another one. We're about to find out which one of these two is the strongest. Now, I'm thinking that maybe this one is, and it's a little bit more uh, well done, I think. So perhaps that one will be the one that dominates everything. That little one's like a wolf, a wolverine type of thing. I think it's going to get absolutely absolutely demolished. I don't know what's lagging, but something's lagging, like, extremely. And that thing is just getting eaten. It's just stuck in its mouth. I think it... Oh, this one's got jet boosters on it? Why does a dinosaur need jet boosters? What the heck? Believe it or not, that thing's winning. How? How did this one win? I'm so shocked. That thing had so many parts. Well, since this one seemed to win, we'll have it face off against a whole bunch of King Kongs. and see if it can de defeat him, King Kongs. Get your King Kong over here. Get can't destroy Oh, look at it. Just getting bludgeoned over and over and over again. The King Kongs mean business. I don't even know how you say it. King Kong, King Kong. King Kongs mean... That thing's like twisting up on itself. Oh, no. They're just bashing it into oblivion. 
I don't know. I don't know. Some of them have died. I don't think this thing can handle getting hit that many times <laughs> repeatedly. It's got to be close to death. Oh, there it is. How many are left? There's a... Wow. They lost one King Kong. Two King Kong. I can count. We better test this and see if it's better than the other one at taking out units. Or if this thing just got beat by that, you know, the Wolverine one. So we're going to have him face off against a bunch of King Kongs. Do your King Kong business. Let's see what happens now. That one's got more spikes and bones and stuff all over it. So maybe perhaps that one will actually defeat the King Kongs a little bit easier. Ooh, so it's looking a little different this time. It's get it's already destroyed two of them and it's just dragging another three of them are down is that one dead too four about to be four Come on get that King Kong send him back to where he came from the jungle I don't know why we're on a on a snow land. It's definitely destroyed more King Kongs this time Oh, we just eat that guy and threw him take that you big dumb beasts. Oh, it might is it gonna win? That one was like on the ground. Are you are you alive too? Look at him. He looks like he's like, nope, he's not. He's dead. He's balling up. He's forming into a little ball. Come on, you got it, Indoraptor. Oh, there it goes, burst into a thousand pieces. So we, let's let's count them, okay? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven of them. So that one actually managed to get more King Kongs. It just can't defeat the other thing. Okay, so yeah, there you go. That's a good test. Here we are on the largest map possible because we are going to be playing with one of the most unique, if not the most unique creature we have ever seen in this game. Now, I'm sure you all will remember Sage Centipede, this big gigantic centipede character that uh, is pretty awesome in and of itself. It flies in the air with the with the help of little jet boosters, and uh, it can easily probably take out the majority of these dinosaurs. Well, that might be awesome and all, but there's a brand new version of it. Are you ready to see it? <laughs> Look at the size of this thing! It's so much bigger, it's so much more epic, and the reason why I say that this is unique is because it features like this kind of body thing. The bo We've seen a lot of these recently, right? But none of them, none of them compare to the same sheer size of this thing nor does it i mean look at the face on this thing it's so absolutely amazing i love it here it goes here it goes look at it it's dro it's drooping down it's starting to do its centipede thing oh my look at that face on that thing this is like like a hundred million times more terrifying than the last one. Oh, he's trying to eat him He's got those mandibles. Everything flex, flexes on this thing. This is why I like these this this specific creature and why I think it's so unique. Every single thing is flexing. All the body parts are flexing independently of one another. It's so absolutely amazing. The tail like doesn't even need to really move. All the arms, look at all the arms. All the arms, all the little fingers and hands. Not the fingers and hands, but the arms like are split and moving. The mandible moves, right? The jaws on it moves. The little whiskers move. The teeth, the mouth moves. The, all the body parts move. The little tentacle th feeler things back here move. Everything moves. It's amazing. Once you set it once, you don't, like it actually won't uh, work if you don't. You have to like set it a specific. <laughs> Look at the face. Look at this. I'm geeking out at how awesome this thing is. I love this thing. Okay, so as you can see. It's uh, otherworldly in terms of its awesomeness and sheer, like, chaos level. It is it is in it, good representation of the, uh, you know, what what's that, Senticharo? It's not Senticharo, it's a little different thing. Let's watch it fight one, one more time. Look, so it drops on the weight of it, just, like, carries it down. And then the boosters kind of just help it move and control it a little bit. Look at the mandibles. Look at the jaw. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. No, the top and the bottom. It's got, see, this is this is what's new about it. This is what is so different than all the other things I've seen. Not only does it have top ones, it also has bottom ones. It has a mouth that opens. It's it actually, oh man, it actually is back here too. It's got like some back here. These ones, these big ones, these front ones, then the mouth. <laughs> this thing is awesome. This might be like my favorite creation I've ever seen. 
I fell down a rabbit hole and I found some really awesome things. To say that I found a whole bunch of epic things is an understatement. Maybe I just haven't looked for a while or maybe all of a sudden people just made some really awesome things back to back, but whatever the case, I'm super excited for it. This is the first one. It's called the Armored Knight. Half man, half centaur, but then fully armored. I think it's a rhino. Fully armored to max destruction. And we're about to watch it just obliterate these little guys. Oh, when the spikes work in this game, it's just so brutal looking. Ah, oh, look at him go. He is getting destroyed. Oh, he just kind of runs by and then sticks him and then runs off. And then in so doing, oh, what is happening to him? He's falling over. He's getting carried away. Thanks for for joining me today click that like button subscribe all the good stuff because you know what we're getting close slowly but surely to 600k and then that's the, our next step on towards a million subscribers guys i just said before we get any further into today's video these guys would like to remind you to subscribe to the channel because if you do you'll save them from <laughs> sheer destruction also only like 12 percent of you guys are subscribed so hit that subscribe button if you thought the last thing was dangerous wait until you see this it's called the armored monster. It's always nice and reassuring when whatever it is doesn't have a tail and instead it's just the backside covered in spikes. Where does it even poop? And then not only that, but there's just spikes. I actually like these spikes from this thing. And then, oh, it does have a face. I couldn't even see the face before. It just looked like a bunch of spikes, but he does have eyes in there. And so, needless to say, this big gigantic behemoth. I like these. I like these creations. These are pretty unique and cool. Oh, look, he's got little spiky mandible things that are spiking him. What is it? Why are they jumping? Are you a bunch of gymnasts? They're, they are doing their best to destroy this thing, but in all reality, something that's armored up and has big spikes, I think it'll probably be pretty hard, but there looks like there's a couple weak spots right as he flexes. Go for the weak spots. Oh, this poor chap just went straight for the <laughs> the butt area. Oh, like that. No, look out. He's going to get spiked right by some, some butt spikes. That seems appropriate. No, I just got crushed. If spikes aren't your thing, maybe hippos. <laughs> but not hippos by themselves. But but rather hippos being blasted by this big advanced technology marvel that is equipped with big gigantic rotating mini guns of doom and then also tons and tons of lasers and a big gigantic scorpion tail mech walker laser weapon of epicness i don't even know what you want to say but look at this oh and it rotates that is awesome i like it i like the rotation adding rotation to anything just makes it look like you know it's realistic unless of course it gets stuck underneath your uh, vehicle and then it just kind of derps out it's just crushing these things and then also zapping them obviously this is when you need like spikes on the bottom these mini guns in the front don't really seem like they're doing a whole lot it seems like the big scorpion rear tail thing is what's really causing the most damage and i'll tell you what i like look at, look at that look at that that's awesome that this is awesome here we have 50 of these guys with some ancient projectiles and they are going against something that has a different type of projectile it's a laser <laughs> and it's from coming from the mouth of this thing right here now the real question i thought it had different like a different skin at first the real question is can this thing defeat this many guys before it dies because these throwers are pretty good but that laser alone is pretty brutal go for oh and look at that going for the weak spots too getting right up there oh i guess i never even realized that they switched weapons to their swords until just now after all this time they actually have oh he fell get him while he's down hit him Oh, they're getting club tail. That's no good. Club tail is dangerous. Oh, and he just bit that one. That's never a good. Oh, he's got spikes on the bottom of his mouth. That's never a good thing. Here's the last guy. And there he goes. Well, he didn't lose. You know, I'm noticing a theme. Snakes, worms, things that bend. Things like this right here, which is pretty awesome. And he has a face inside. And then he also moves his mouth like that as he walks, which how in the world is that happening? And he also has spiky spikes on his claws. 
How is that opening and closing like that? Ah, his face is exposed. He has another mouth in there. That This is a very interesting creation. And he just utterly wrecked all these hill giants. Just crushed that one to death. This is amazing to me. They're little tiny gorilla heads holding all this together here. And for whatever reason, as a result of the way that this is designed, you get this very interesting thing where its head pops off and then it starts to try to attack you. What is this? How do you people even come up with this stuff? I don't even know. Oh, and there's little uh, boosters there to kind of push it open. I'm just amazed. I like to say that this is artwork, but honestly, this is a little bit more terrifying than just regular artwork. This is some kind of monstrosity, but I love it. Would you like to see what became of one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? After all that time in the sewer, he was affected by massive amounts of radiation, and he turned into this thing. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, he's been a little- he's ready to fight the bad guys. I think he's gonna win, but in all reality, he turned pretty evil himself, and now he is fighting a bunch of gorillas, because I don't know why. And he also has jet boosters, which makes total sense. I have no idea why he's fighting gorillas, but he is, and that's what's happening, and I hope you like watching it. So I like the fact that his, like, shins are covered in spikes. Actually, I don't know what this thing is, but it, clearly it's got, like, a turtle shell on his back. So I think it's supposed to be a turtle that's been, like, evolved and mutated in, from some reason or another. And then he flies, which I'm not too sure why, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Go ahead, ask any turtle or tortoise you find out there if they would like to have hover boosters on them so they could fly around instead of lay around, I think they would all agree that they'd rather fly. Now the moment you've been waiting for. This next creation is so epic and so large and so just amazing that we must first build five gigantic, no, let's do six, six gigantic blocks high into the air so that way we can rest him upon it okay and then i have created this thing and trenched it up a little bit and it's this <laughs> look at this snake it's amazing and we're about to fight it off against a whole army here's the thing i can actually delete this and it'll be fine because once it's high enough it uses these boosters up here to kind of stay up in the air but then it will eventually fall down so that way you can eat stuff but here's what it looks like from the perspective of a spartan <laughs> look at the absolute monstrous size difference here that's a pretty amazing screenshot right there let's watch it in action so it'll fall down it does kind of spiral but not really after a while it just kind of lays on itself but then once it goes to attack something then we see it freak out and it gets all awesome and he's got really powerful a really powerful bite it's not just an ordinary snake with just fangs he also has teeth look at that look at that so he'll eat things it's pretty amazing now at first when it, at first looked at this thing it uh, was broken and kind of derpy because it was so long. It's called like the Jorgamund or something like that. And it's pretty freaking awesome. But he didn't really work. There was something about him that was totally derped out. Don't bite yourself. You're going to ruin yourself and make your make yourself go flying off the edge. There was something about him that just derped out. I'll show you the original one. Even with the blocks high, it still didn't work. But then I kind of removed some of the backside of it, and then it seemed to work. This is an awesome creation. But you, if you look in the workshop recently, you'll find a lot of different snake things. And this week, we're going to find... We're going to use... I think one other one, we might use two other ones, but we'll use one other one as like a main thing, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Now here's another cool feature about it, he can even fall off the edge and he's fine, because of the, the booster is keeping him up, and so his half his body can fall off. They actually say, you know, keep half of it, keep a fourth of it off when you first start it, and it'll still work, but uh, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting creation, and beyond, definitely beyond what... What I'm capable of doing. Oh, 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 no, stay on. Okay, it's good, it's good. It's almost off. But look at that. It can, uh, this is like one of the few creations other than a flying thing, which I guess technically this is flying, that can go over the edge and be fine. 
There's only a couple of them left. Not very good at actually attacking and eating things though. Although it has killed a lot of stuff. But it needs it needs to be improved upon. And then we have a couple guys over there. But either way, I you know, I love showing these things off. You're not gonna wanna miss today's video because I found the world's most amazing snake. There's a lot of epic things in this video, and later I also have a special thing for you to see that you won't wanna miss. So make sure to stick around. Today we start off with a giant army of men because they are fighting off against a new awesome Kraken foe, the likes of which you maybe have never seen. No need to have nightmares by this site right here. This is actually its beak and its mouth. And as you can see, I am underneath this creation and it is awesome. <laughs> it's got some big eyes. He's laying on the ground now, but watch. Oh, he pops up in the air. Oh my goodness. Look at how he moves. He's a little out of control. I actually don't really know what's happening with his arms and stuff and how that even occurred, but it's absolutely awesome. I don't hear jet boosters, so I don't really know how he's moving up and down like that. Either way, he's one of the most amazing Krakens I've ever seen in this game, simply because of the way he moves. He's far more agile than most other ones. Now before we get any further into today's video, it's important for you to know that later in this video there will be a really cool announcement and an update to something that I don't think you're gonna want to miss. Also these big gigantic gorillas say subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment what your favorite animal is, and if you do, you might be able to save them from this fate of the, one of the most amazing mommy long legs I've ever seen in this game. It's perfect, but let's watch it destroy a whole bunch of gorillas. Oh, her! I thought her head, her thought her head was getting left behind. Look at she's so good. But the question is, whoa, can she defeat these guys or will they defeat her? She's somehow destroying them. I'm not entirely sure how. Oh, she does have little spiky spikes. They're just hidden. Nice. She's destroyed all of them. Did she even take any damage? She did it. This is Arbs Mobile, and there was a brand new update. Arbs Mobile now has its very own workshop, which means you'll be able to share your creation with other people from all around the world. There's this nice big gigantic workshop tab over here on the left. Let's click it and find out what people have done. All right, we got a lot of stuff in here. Hot, new, we got my files, so that's what's gonna show up your own stuff. We got something called the Battle God. So let's just find something we wanna download, like let's choose mech, and then let's download them and see how that works. All right, here we are in the campaign. Let's go over here and workshop items. There it is, mech. We've got that monstrosity in the game now. It's as simple as that. So here's the thing, you can actually earn some gold by doing something. So if you share your creation on social media and then attach a picture of the share to KT Play, which is their community, you can earn 200 gold. And so once you do that, come over here to announcement. So switch from newest to announcement. And right up here at the top is workshop is open for business. And if you share your creation on social media, post the pic in this area here in the comments here, and you'll get yourself a 200 gold reward. Now I wanted to actually test out a creation that we downloaded from the workshop. So we got our buddy Mech here, which looks like it's a gorilla. And he's fighting off against something I didn't think you could actually make in mobile, but somebody did. It's Mecha Godzilla. Look at this. Whoever made this, I'm very impressed. So you can actually make What's happening? <laughs> What's happening with that guy? You can actually make some pretty amazing things, it looks like. But let's see. Uh, he better win this battle. Let's see how it ha how it goes in mobile, shall we? Oh, the lasers are out. The lasers are out. He's still alive. Oh, and he died. Wow. I have to say that uh, this Mecha Godzilla is 
otherworldly on a whole other level like even better than the steam version because you're making something like this on mobile and so that's incredibly impressive all right let's get back to the steam version perhaps you recall a creation called skirdon it was a gigantic beast that could eat everything well he actually has a baby this is the child skirdon and it looks pretty cool i have to imagine that this big giant mouth here is going to devour all of these different mammals let's watch as it happen oh okay he actually has lasers oh look at his mouth doing a weird thing with the harpoons it's trying to catch up to the laser okay he's not going to even eat anything at this rate he's just going to laser everything down until it's all dead does he actually have a laser inside or is it just his mouth i want to go in let me get in there hello oh it's just his mouth get it yeah he eats trying to eat. maybe eat some hippos there for a small creation this thing's actually pretty cool he's harpooned all of the all the harpoons went into that giraffe, but it, it can't really reel anything in because by the time it tries to, it all dies due to laser fine. Speaking of creations that have been shrunk in size, perhaps you remember that one giant knife head kaiju that we found a long time ago? Well, there's this guy. His name is Brachydose, and he looks an awful lot like that other one, only he's on a much smaller scale. Somebody's making baby versions of the giant kaijus, and I think that's pretty cool. I think we should have all kind. I think you should be able to. Guys, comment below if you'd like this. If we could take any creation from the workshop, no matter the size, and scale it down, just like we can with normal creations i think that would be so cool or make things from the creation as big as you possibly can it would be amazing here we have the greatest warriors games ever seen bobby bobby is back and bobby riding on his little piggy fly over here bobby is one of the greatest creations ever mainly because i made it and he's a and he's hilarious today he's fighting off against this guy who looks really cute and ordinary and not dangerous at all until you see that he needs to go to a manicurist because his fingernails are getting a little out of control. Pretty sure Bobby's about to die. Go, our little Bobby Riders, they're going out. Boom, okay, he died instantly. Oh no, Bobby. Run away. Oh, jeez. Bobby might have a little bit more HP, though. I, Bobby's a beast. Bobby's pretty strong. He might be able to take him out. Although, he's spiking and flinging all of them. Come on, Bobby. Punch him in the butt. Wow, Bobby's, Bobby's a lot tougher than I thought he was. I'm very impressed. Oh, no. It's the last Bobby. Oh, they're all dead. Bobby, you will never be forgotten. The, oh, he actually did take damage. Wow, I'm just kind of surprised by that. One of my favorite things to find in this game are big, gigantic centipedes. And that's why when I found this next creation, I kind of lost my mind a little bit. It isn't exactly a centipede, but it's so awesome that it, it's just on a whole different level. Here it is. Look at this thing. Its tail lies flat across the ground, and then something amazing happens. It is not a centipede. It's a King Cobra snake, and it is so amazing. Look at this thing. It looks so good. <laughs> hey, man. This is the first time I've ever seen something like this in this game, and this thing is so cool. Let's see what happens. It looks like it has lasers, so it's going to be able to probably take out a lot of these guys, but can it do anything else, and should we remove the lasers so that... Oh! It, it, it attacks like a snake. I was gonna say remove the laser so we watch how it how it attacks But I think we're gonna be able to actually see it in action. Look at this thing I can't believe how cool this thing is. It's it's on a whole different level from centipedes That's for sure that doesn't it doesn't move and act quite like the centipedes or, or you know move a lot like a snake in that regard But it definitely does move at least and it has that look of a king cobra and oh, it's crawling up it's curling up on itself. That's so awesome. Yeah, you need to sit like a king cobra and show us how awesome you are. 
This is probably one of my favorite creations that I've seen in a long time just because of the design of it and the uniqueness. And the cool thing is, is that the person who made this, guess what? They've made some pretty amazing things, and I didn't even realize that a lot of the things I've been checking out were by the same guy. And so we found I found a new creator who is making some amazing things. And so I think you can just look up King Cobra, and you'll be able to see uh, a lot of the creations he's made. But I'm going to be showcasing them in the next couple of videos, and they're pretty awesome. I'm sure that everybody knows Sentichara. Well, I thought we had seen one of the best ones that we could possibly see, and then someone made something <laughs> far more amazing. Here's a whole army of Spartans. They have one main flaw. They might want to think about forming a phalanx because the thing that they're about to fight is going to destroy their army when it's spread out like this. That's better. I still don't think it's gonna be effective though, because they're fighting off against this monstrosity. He's got not one, but two giant spike hammers, as well as some spears, and then whatever the heck this big giant- Oh, there's flamethrowers on it! I didn't realize that. Needless to say, this won't last very long, because his flamethrower sort of- Oh, it's not actually going off! What in the world? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it wasn't working for a second, or at least I didn't notice it. It's uh, absolutely wrecking everything. Oh, look, there's a big gigantic dinosaur skull on its back. What in the world? I didn't actually even see what happened here. He's got harpoons going out. There's his fire flame sword. He's got also big gigantic spiky things. Is that how he walks? Is he walking on those spikes? Wait a minute. How actually, oh, there they are. I was like, how is he actually walking? Yeah, this is a monstrosity. Well, before we get any further into today's video, this big gigantic group of giraffe, what do you call a group of giraffes? A gaggle? A mosh pit? <laughs> a mosh pit? Anyway, they say subscribe to the channel because only like 12% of you guys are subscribed. And if you do, you get to watch things like this. A big gigantic Hawkbuster Iron Man about to demolish a whole mosh pit of giraffes. Where did I even come up with that? Here we go, flamethrowers. Hey, that's a pretty cool looking Iron Man. Whoa, he does flips. He's got missiles and lasers and flamethrowers. That is uh, probably one of the best looking Iron Man that I've seen so far in terms of how it flies. Although it's a little bit flat in the face area. Hey, gorillas, guess what? You know the other day we saw that really cool looking uh, vehicle that was like an iguana vehicle that looked nothing like an iguana vehicle? Yeah, well somebody upgraded it. Actually, this might be a whole new one. It looks like a crocodile mouth. Well, now it's also got a bunch of other little crocodile heads, as well as uh, little arms that are going to spike, as well as these big gigantic spiky wheels. Needless to say, uh, I'm pretty sure... Why it doesn't need a... It does not need a laser. This creation needs no help from a laser, okay? It should be straight up melee destruction with these big giant wheels, as well as those nice little heads, which... They don't actually eat anything, unfortunately, and I actually wonder why they don't. I wonder if the metal just kind of keeps it from opening. That's probably it. But I do like these double wheels. It's kind of cool looking. Well, we've come to the battle bot arena. Not to face off against any battle bots. Why do these guys look so small? But because we're facing off against a really insane creature that th probably needs to be locked in. I don't know what's about to happen. When you first see the thumbnail, this is about what you see. And then you get closer and you realize what it is. I don't understand. Does it have lasers? Oh, <laughs> there's a bunch of lasers up there. It doesn't need to look like butterfly wings anyway. It's, uh, it's our good buddy Achilles over here. Wow, he is just loaded with lasers galore. Everybody likes their lasers. Oh, look at how it's flying it's a light show a disco light show over here he doesn't even need his throwing shield oh he is coming back see that's why i locked it. i wanted to lock him in because i felt like he was just gonna fly off into oblivion look at this crazy thing <laughs> i don't even understand kind of looks almost like he's got some kind of uh, gun or something but it's a big gigantic sword yeah He's colorful. Speaking of colorful, I don't know why they are this color, but we got a bunch of purple dinosaurs here. I don't know if they're supposed to be Barney or whatever, but we got a whole bunch of them, and they're probably gonna get destroyed. Something I've always thought was funny is if, if you know, we only can guess as to what these things sounded like, but could you imagine if they, like, a T Rex meowed instead of roared? That'd be hilarious. Anyway, here's what they're fighting. What is this thing? Oh, it's called the Falcon. 
It's like a flying plane. He's got missiles. He's got, is it like a VTOL looking thing? It looks like a VTOL vehicle of some kind. Let's watch and see what it does. It does fly up! It's a VTOL vehicle! Sweet! I like it. It's got missiles. It's kind of glittery dinosaurs. This is what it would be like if we had advanced technology back in the days when dinosaurs roamed the earth. It would just get obliterated like this. Then again, if you just had one advanced technology in a massive battle, I'm pretty sure every army would fear you and you would rule the world. That was not nearly as dramatic as I wanted it to be. Everything just died so quick. Those missiles do quite the work of destroying things. I actually don't know how this next creature is going to fare off against a whole bunch of hill giants, but we're about to find out. This thing is called the final rap worm. Oh, it's got flamethrowers. I think it's going to do just fine. I didn't realize it was covered in flamethrowers, but let's watch this thing move because it's definitely, oh, it, it, um, uh, it doesn't move. <laughs> it doesn't really move at all. It's got, it's got jet boosters there. Like it's going to fly. There, oh, it kind of got off the ground a little bit. But not really. Maybe we should try to replace those. All right, I've replaced the jet boosters with ones that blow in one direction. I think I know what's about to happen. Yeah, oops. <laughs> I might have, I might have did the wrong ones, but at least now it's moved. There we go. I used the wrong ones. Now I think it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. Provide some lift, and now it's just raining down fire upon the hill giant's heads. That seems pretty good. Well, about, that went about as I expected. Anything that flies with flamethrowers that rain down on your head is pretty good creation. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the moment you've all been waiting for, a big gigantic new creation is here made by our good friend Magna. We've all seen the other Senticharo, that big gigantic centipede thing that is amazing. And the thing that's different about this one versus that one is the other one kind of flew up in the air and attacked. This one doesn't do that. But it sure does look like the elder centipede scented charo that we come to know and love look at this creation it is beyond amazing it's so good it's super long i love it it's even got like little the little antennae feelers coming off of here but here's the difference it doesn't actually go up in the air it just kind of goes whoa it's not supposed to do that i'm i <laughs> So I lied. It does go in the air. It's not supposed to do that. That sometimes happens if we hit pause for too long. There we go. Now it's doing it. I think maybe it's happened because it was body was off the edge. That could be it. But as you can see, it okay, it didn't operate like this the first time we I played with it. There we go. Its whole body's on, so now let's see what happens. There we go. Now it's moving. So it kind of wa wags back and forth. You can see that? And then it does have spikes, and it does have a big old giant mouth. It's not attacking quite the same way as, I, as the other one did, or as I would like it to. But it's still pretty cool. What if we put some of these jet boosters down here that provide lift just on the front part? Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's going up a little bit. I like that. We kind of need it to go even higher. The difference with the other one was it kind of like it actually attacked how you would expect it to. And I, I don't actually know if I still have that. I have to imagine I kept it. We're about to have a three-way battle. The Sage Centipede right here looks freaking awesome. It has that, which is what makes it fly. We've got little baby scented churro for Entac, made by uh, our good buddy Ray, uh, Shark Kid Venom. And then the Elder Centipede by Magna, who by far has the coolest looking face. But which one wins? That's the question. So here's, here's how Sage Centipede works. Oh, it's eating it. It's eating it. Oh, no. Okay, so look at him. Look at him flying. Does he actually attack? Oh no, he just stays up in the air. Oh, so none of none of them really do do what I'm thinking. Oh. Okay, well, things are getting crazy. Okay, little baby senti charo one. So, turns out that uh it doesn't really actually work the way that I thought it did. So, uh needless to say, neither of them do what I Can you get out of here? <laughs> get out of here. Neither of them really do what I want them to do, but they're both really awesome in their own right, and I like the 
look of Magnus quite a bit. I like this purple. It looks very much like the Senti Charo. Or Senti Churro, or however anybody wants. Senti Churro. Hi. <laughs> Did I throw up a churro in the other video because I said churro accidentally? Someone has created one of the most epic creations that you're ever going to see. And it will revolutionize your idea of epicness. Someone has created an absolutely amazing creation. And if it's not the first of its kind, it's definitely probably the best version of something like this that's ever been made. But before we do that, we're about to watch some hippos get destroyed by Captain America. Dun, 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 dun. I told you, somebody made a Captain America. And then not only that, but someone made another version of this creation. <laughs> well, using this uh, character and it is beyond, I mean, it's nightmare level. I can't even begin to describe to you how awesome. Dude, did you see that? The armor pieces on its arm got bigger. That's kind of surprising. His shield is stuck in his in his shoulder. Dude, the hippos are dangerous. Don't mess, don't mess with the hippos. Do you see it? It got bigger. That's crazy. Now, unfortunately, we all know how this would end. But could you imagine for real watching Captain America just destroy a bunch of hippos? Now, before we get any further into today's video, these uh, guys are here would say subscribe to the channel because only like 12% of you guys are subscribed, and if you do you get to watch things like this they're gonna get eaten by whatever this thing is i don't know what this is or if it even moves <laughs> look at this creation let's see what happens oh yeah it doesn't move whoa it doesn't move but it flings out a big gigantic ta uh, spiked up tonsil i mean i don't know i don't know how you want what you want to say oh look at this see that guy got stuck on there wow this thing is a lot um uh, a lot more interesting than i thought it was gonna be we need to watch this again but instead of those people we're gonna use baby hippos here it comes Oh, I missed him. There it is. Now I got somebody. Poked him in the face, but didn't reel him in, huh? Reel it in. I want to see it. Oh, there we go. I want to see it get reeled in. Oh, look at the hippo got spiked. Yeah, up in these little crazy mandible jaws of doom. Well, perhaps the other guy was better, but it's still it's pretty cool to watch that thing come flying out. Hey, drafts, check this thing out. I mean, this thing's incredibly amazing looking. So I think, isn't the Void Reaver? Like, the Reavers are the things from Marvel. I mean, this is like that big colossal thing, you know what I mean? It looks just like it. But isn't the Void Reaver also from like a tower defense game? Whoa, it's got a gigantic sword. Look out, drafts. Oh, is it going to cut up the drafts and chop them up with that thing? Probably not. I don't know what giraffe. What? He had TNT hidden somewhere unless the giraffes somehow grew TNT and they, this is a new thing. I wonder what giraffe meat tastes like. You know what this game makes me always question what different meats taste like. Makes me hungry. I'm pretty sure it would be massively illegal though to uh, <laughs> to try some giraffe. Sometimes in this game, I don't even know what I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying, Mr. Void Reaver? Hey, here's a creation that I've had for a while. It's Godzilla, but not just any Godzilla. It's Snakezilla. <laughs> Look at this. Thing. I forgot I had it, but it's, it's literally a Godzilla, but it's a snake version. And he has a snake head and he's going to eat these guys alive. Oh! Oh, he's got a flamethrower. Actually, his neck doesn't even reach. Oh, that's is that tempting? Does that make you even more hungry? How do you even eat? I don't want to tease the poor thing, so we'll go ahead and give him some big old brachiosaurus to eat. Oh, he spiked it. Is he going to eat him? He doesn't even want to open his mouth to take a bite. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he, he swallows everything whole. He can't even eat these. They're too big for him to eat. You're not an anaconda or a boa constrictor by chance, are you? What would happen if you took Captain America, but you turned him into an absolute monster? You might first ask yourself, well, what do we make him look like? And if you can't figure it out, well, just go ahead and throw a bunch of eyeballs all over him. <laughs> look at this thing. It's Captain America, but with lots of eyes. Honestly, I didn't even know you could put eyes on like that. Oh, look at the flying eye disc of doom. And look at what we have here. Multiple people spiked on one object. That's kind of a first. Who who knew that putting uh, spikes on Captain America's shield or, you know, would be so devastating. <laughs> look at the eyeballs get bigger. It would be so devastating. We got to watch that again. Please inflate your arm again so we can watch it in slow motion. I uh, got it. <laughs> Look at the eyeballs. Literally everything actually gets bigger, which is kind of crazy. I didn't know that that would happen. Hey, eyeball man is pretty devastating, especially with spikes on that shield. Like I said, it makes me wonder what kind of things can you make with the shield? Oh, I just had, oops, I had a wonderful idea. What if we do this right here? What will happen? 
Because I have to imagine that... Oh, it didn't... Oh, is it harpooning? It's, I can't tell if it's harpooning as he's throwing it. Throw it out and then harpoon as it's going out. Oh, it's not quite working the way I thought it would. I thought maybe throw it, it would harpoon and then throw him. You know, like fling him across the map. You know what's better than a normal ordinary dragon? Oh, I don't know. Maybe something like this right here. Gigantic, epic, mechanized wings. An awesome face. And he's also pretty large, but does he actually move and work like a dragon? I don't think he actually does. He's just a big, gigantic beast what's he doing with his head oh this seems pretty uh efficient at destroying everything around and he's actually spiking everybody too oh there goes a guy bye guy i don't know is it just me or is it the colors i like the colors a lot his head is just whipping back and forth like crazy speaking of gigantic kaiju dragon looking like beasts we got this big old thick boy. Look at this. Look at this. This guy's got a huge tail. Some big old epic looking baby wings. Little tiny hands. He doesn't need them. And this big gigantic double knife head. He's pretty awesome. Does he have lasers or anything? He's got a laser. <laughs> Goodbye, Goro. Yeah, so Goros are no match for this big gigantic beast because he's just lasering the crap out of them. And he's probably going to wind up eating some of them too. I didn't know that Goros could fly like that. I think they're all dead. Nope, there's one left. He's sitting here hiding amongst his dead brethren thinking he's gonna blend in and they won't be seen sorry to tell you he definitely saw you don't go towards him do look around man have some sense they're dead you're about to witness one of the most epic creations that i've ever seen in this game now, generally when i say that you know like i there's a lot of epic things out there but this thing is on a whole new level it has one of the coolest names that i've ever heard for a creation it's called the color Colossal Tron. And look, it's a little tiny car. Isn't it wonderful? Wrong. It's not a car. It's a gigantic mechanized epic dragon snake of doom. Look at this insanity. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces to its body. And guess what? It all moves extremely well. Want to see? Watch it. Ready? It kind of goes straight at him. Here we go. And then it's got some It's got some nice little flamethrowers. Look at its body whipping a back and forth in extreme epicness as it flings about. And it never actually flips over. <laughs> Look at this crazy thing. There are two people who make some of the most amazing creations in this game. Unirite, which we've heard many times, and a person named Magna. Look at it curled up on itself. <laughs> this creation is so awesome. Like, I, I'm just blown away by this thing. There's also a weaponized version, but it doesn't always work when you put it down. Sometimes it really freaks out. Oh, it's actually doing it this time. Okay, that's nice. The weaponized version has rockets and lasers and more lasers. Oh, there it goes. It's derping out on me. So we'll just use this thing and watch it again as it does its epicness. I mean, the fact that it moves the way that it does and it actually never flips over on itself is just beyond awesome. Look. It doesn't actually flip over. It just kind of keeps its head upright the whole time because it's because of its body. You know, because of the way that the, the body part is, which is the car. It's all right here. Look at this thing. I love it. It is amazingly cool. What do you think of this thing? Because uh, if you say that it's crap, I'm going to be super mad because you're wrong. Anyway, go check it out for yourself. It's called the Colossal Tron. You can find it in the workshop. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Click one of the two videos you're about to see, and I'll see you guys in the next one.